You weren't able to film unless Seven Ten gives you the permission. What, not even from outside? You weren't able to. Why would you need to film the side for? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at Minworth Sewage Works and this one's run by Seven Trent Water. This is near Sutton Coalfield, a B76 postcode and it is absolutely huge. We've got some signs over here. Minworth Sewage Treatment Works, opening hours, seven until six. Licensed by the Environment Agency. And it does stretch all the way back to the right and to the left. From this point, all we can see really is a, a way bridge, a gatehouse, information call button. We even got a, uh, a fire extinguisher, I think, in there and some electric gates. So what brings me to Minworth? There's something special about this place. Yeah, on the website it says, Minworth is our biggest sewage works and treats wastewater from more than a million homes and businesses across Birmingham and the black country and already generates both power for use in the works and also gas for injection into the grid. And this particular plant here has just had a thermal hydrolysis plant installed inside it. So I wonder if we'll be able to see the thermal hydrolysis plant with the drone or even from this, uh, this roadway here. Sorry? I'm just having a look round. Not with that cam. Are you working on site? No, I'm just a member of the public. Just... That's all right, you can't, but this is private property. All right, so okay. if I was you, I'd reverse yourself out and go that way. All right, you okay. You can't come on site unless you are a visitor or you've been appointed to come on site, unfortunately. Yeah, is there anyone I can talk to about getting a tour? You'll have to go online for Seven Trent Sewage Works. They do right. a tour online and it was booked on online. All oh, right, okay. Because right. this is where you've got the thermal hydrolysis plant haven't That's you? The, the new one. I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. My job is to... If Are you recording? Well, I will be. I will be. No, you um, won't be recording on our site, unfortunately. Right, OK. unless you're not booked in, yeah. unless one of the superiors are not with you, you won't be able to do any recording. Right, OK. I really wanted to see it. Is it big? Whereabouts is it? I don't know. You need to go on the website, yeah. book yourself in, and then once you're booked in, they will then give me a list of people for the tours. And oh, so they do? Yeah, they do tours. Oh, right, brilliant, okay. Yeah, so you will then be booked in with for the tour and then you have directed and whoever's doing that tour for that day will go through it. With right, you. and do they take people to that the new plant, the thermal yes. hydrolysis? Uh, oh, well, brilliant. They, they do, but I don't know. Right, okay. Because I've travelled quite far today to, to see it. I mean, I will respect you. If you don't want me to come on, that's fine. Um, I'll just... Uh, you say where I've parked my bike over there, on the lamppost? I'll just do some filming from there. You weren't able to film unless Seven Trent gives you the permission. What, not even from outside? You weren't able to. Why would you need to film the site for? Oh, because I've travelled so far to come here today, I just wanted to make a little video for my viewers about the new thermal what, hydrolysis. What are these? Just for YouTube. For YouTube? Yeah. The best bet is, don't film now. Let me put you through to someone who's Yeah, that's available. what I mean. Is there anyone else you, I can talk to? If you go by that window, and let's have a see if I can dive, get someone. But don't film at all until you said so. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. Yeah, well, what, what I'll do, d don't worry. Um, I know that unannounced visitors, they're not really... Because um, everyone's busy, aren't they? Yeah. And when they do tours, they like to plan it in That's right. so that they're not busy doing something else. So I appreciate that, no problem. It's I'm gonna... a commentary that does the... Um, they kind of get the visit. If you go online for a tour, yeah. they will book you in from commentary. We only get a list of people. Okay, who's coming okay. To That's fair enough. That's fair enough. And but then 
what what I'm going to say, um, I probably will do that, yeah. but that'll be later on in the year because I've travelled so far to come today. I'm just going to make my little video about today, um, but I will stand outside. I won't be on your land. I'll be outside. Can I just confirm this with one of the seniors, the, the managers, because I don't think filming, we do not allow anyone to film. Yeah, but I'll be outside. That's what I'm saying. So what I'll do, I'll let you confer with who you need to. Um, I don't want to take you away from your gatehouse. I'll just be out there. Yeah. I'm going to do what I can see from here. And I'm going to take my drone over as well. Because then I'll be able to see the... I'll find where it is. Because I'll be outside, you see. There's no problem with doing it outside. Okay. No, All right. Okay, do you go over there? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Thank you. So she was nice, you know. She started off a bit... Um, a bit authoritarian, but we won a round. We're going to respect her. We'll return to public land over here, the public footpath, and we'll continue our footage from here. So, as shown on the website, just there, £60 million scheme will change the way the company treats waste before generating green power and will make the process considerably more efficient, meaning the amount of clean energy generated will increase by almost a third. David Nile, who is managing the project for 7 Trent, explains, generating clean energy through anaerobic digestion is a real priority for us and we've been treating sewage in this way for the last 60 years. The deployment of this latest generation of thermal hydrolysis technology will make that process more efficient and means we can take 30% more energy out of the waste we treat. So this thermal hydrolysis what it does it heats and applies pressure to the sludge the sewage and by adding this heat it kills the bacteria which means when it goes into the digestion the anaerobic digestion the bugs can digest it and create that that gas quicker and then they use the gas to generate the electricity and the pressure the pressure breaks down the sludge so it, it helps it digest quicker as well. It gave us the thumbs up. And we've got pure utility solutions arriving. So looking from the left, of the site it's heavily uh, hidden by shrubs and trees and hedges and that's the same on the right hand side so there really is nothing to see really from the outside so it's time to get the drone up from the public footpath out here and let's see what we can see from above right then seven trend minworth We've checked on drone assist and we are in a Birmingham CTR, but a CTR does not apply to a 249 gram drone. So let's go and have a look for this thermal hydrolysis plant, which heats and applies pressure to the sludge so that it can be digested in the anaerobic digestion plant easier later on. Hello my friend. Hey. You're right. Yeah. Can I ask what your problem is? You, you want access to our site? No, no. Um, if there's a tour available I would love to but she said it's not available at the moment you have to book it. Yeah. So I'm just going to complete my video from outside. Right. I'm just here to make a video about the place that's all. What, about the just bear with me one moment I've just got my drone in the air I'll just bring it down then it's safe to talk to you. One second. So let's bring your drone down. Uh, we'll explain ourselves to the gentleman. So we brought the drone down. Uh, we've got a gentleman from Seven Trent. Who are you, sorry? Sorry. My name's DJ. Right. Sorry. 
Sorry? Your name is what? DJ? Yeah, my DJ is my first name. What's your first name? Rob. Rob, okay, Rob. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, Rob, today, I'm only going to be here for about half an hour. I'm just going to make a video for my YouTube channel right. about Ninworth Sewage Works. Right. You've got a brilliant um, thermal hydrolysis plant that heats and applies pressure to the sludge, which helps the digestion process later on. Is that right? We have got one on sort, yes. Yeah, it cost 60 million, didn't it? I believe so. Yeah. Will it take um, many years to get that back by when you sell, sell it back to the grid? I, I couldn't tell you. It's, I, I don't need a bond in the castle. Must be financially viable, though. Make, makes good business sense, surely. So. Yeah, yeah, and it's great because thirty percent uplift in the in the gas, um, yeah, in the gas production that we sell back to buy methane. Couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't get involved in that sort of it. But you see what I mean, though. It's all interesting stuff. It's new. Yeah. It's emerging technology that other people will copy. Other water authorities. Neither. Yeah, you're leading the way, I think. Right. Um, I'm very. Um, I go around filming uh, very interesting things like this to put it on my YouTube channel. Right. I do actually spot hydrant misuse as well for you guys. Because yeah. you do know that um, seven Trent hydrants, hydrants can't be uh, used on a FH, a fire hydrant. Only can be used on a washout. Do you agree? Yeah. Is there any exceptions for that? When can they be used on a FH? I'll have to check that. that that's clean water solid route, which is a sewage solid. Yeah, I know, yeah. I don't, but, get, I don't get involved. I'm just trying to tap into your knowledge, see what you do know. Yeah. All right, so it's great. The lady said um, sometimes you do do tours here and yes. we can actually go, get up close to the thermal hydrolysis plant. Is that right? Oh, I wouldn't know. It, it, as you say, I don't get involved with the tours. You'd have to go through uh, office in, uh, in Coventry yeah. to book through the tours. What do you actually do then? I'm the uh, chief operator, so I look after the site. So you're involved, you can oversee everything? Yeah. Right, okay. So yeah, um, I'm going to take the drone up. I'm going to have a good look. Whereabouts is it? I can't tell you. I'll find it. <laughs> You've set me a challenge. Yeah, I'm no threat to you, security. Did you say? Did you say? I, I will have to pass it higher up by a train. What's, what's the need for that? Well, as you say, if you're filming our site, security breach, you shouldn't be following a drone over our site. Why not? Because it's, it's a private property. Yeah, you own the land, don't you? Yes. How much did it cost to buy the air, the airspace? Oh, right, right, See what I mean? You don't own the airspace, do you? Yeah, but you're, as you say, you're not allowed to check out, it's, it's a private property. Private land, land yeah. only, land. land. I can't come on your land if you don't want me to, but I can fly over it. Okay, okay. Hot air balloons, you know, gliders, yeah. helicopters, they can do what they want above. Yeah. Okay. So you can't hide it, you know, you should be proud of it. Yeah. Why don't you want me to film it? I didn't know. It's not clear on your website that you do tours when you look up to the Seven Trent Minworth. No, but if you go through the Seven Trent itself, it's not a clear proper time that you do. Yeah, well, I, I missed that. So my mistake, my, my loss. I've yeah. just got to make make the most of my journey. See, I've travelled far to come. Right, oh, okay. So I've got to put a video onto my um, YouTube channel about my visit here. Yeah. And I'm going to be praising the, uh, the thermal hydrolysis. That's the best thing I can see. Unless I see anything else good happening. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Security was pleasant. Yeah. As you say, if you, if you contacted us just before, then, you know, yeah. nothing could have been arranged. Who is it that does the tours? Is it someone based here with knowledge? It'll probably come through the manager, the sort of manager. Is it actually the manager that walks everyone round? It depends. Have you ever done, walked around the tours? I have years ago. You have? So you do know? But that was for our own staff. So, yes, I do, I do know. So, God, other, other than the thermal hydrolysis then, what's great that's happening here? I can't tell you. Look, look I've, I've explained what's happening, right? I've got other customers to go see. Yep. And I was, as you say, I was called up because there was someone trying to walk on our site. That, that's what I was informed. Okay. That he was coming on our site as, as a member of the public. Yeah, I was on my way to the gatehouse to announce my presence, just to let yeah. them know politely what I'm going to be doing. I don't mind doing it from out here. Yeah. Um, sometimes we do get shown around, they seize the opportunity, you know. Yeah. As you say, the manager's not on site at the moment. Yeah. But if you'd wrong up, you might have been able to arrange it. Yeah, that's great to know for the future. And for, for anybody that's watching that wants to have a look round, yeah. just contact you guys in advance and yeah. uh, 
it sounds like you'll be accommodating. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll let you get back to work. Um, yeah, just don't worry about the drone. Uh, half an hour, I'll be gone. Okay. Future proof, eh? Look, on the van. Avoid block pipes, bin your, what's that? Nappies or something? Right, let's get the drone back up and see what this place is like from above. You're right, yeah? yeah? What? Did you say my name? DJ audience. Did you mean that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at one side of them. There you go, Cheers, mate. Pal. There you go. Oh, look, where's your son? Uh, three days. Three days. Yeah, yeah, three days' time. Thanks for watching, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. I recognise the bike from the bike. Yeah, I'm going to find the thermal hydrolysis plant. It does great things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Oh, that's nice to see, isn't it? A viewer, employed by Seven Trent, gets a keyring, of course. So what a massive sight this is, look. I'm at 56 meters and we've still not got it all in. 75 meters, that'll do. So the gatehouse there where we spoke to the lady, we didn't even get to the gatehouse, did we? But she was nice enough. A bit abrupt at first, but then she calmed down. So let's have a look around. We're looking for something new, something that deals with heat, so would have a chimney, I presume, and something that costs 60 million. Woo! Maximum flying altitude. Oh, mate. Yeah, good, thanks. Do you know who I am? Go on, they say the name. Audits. Always enjoy you. Great to watch you. There you go, my friend. That's for watching. Yeah. Thank you so much. Brilliant. So, yeah, another viewer from Seven Trent. It's great to see. So, we're just flying over the, um, the treatment works now, where they. Uh, I think this is where the sludge settles. But where is that new thermal hydrolysis plant? So we are at 120 meters now. And look, we're lucky enough to see some of these settling pools empty. That's what one looks like inside. Which I presume that just spins around. You've got some spiky bits there, look. <laughs> I'm no expert, but it must be where something settles and gets spun around and mixed. So we've got loads of water mousers, tankers in this corner. We've got some sort of channel down there as well. Is that where it gets? Released back. Oh, that one stunk. Loads of, is it septic tanks down there? Is this an area where they, uh, they stack up? All the byproduct, the fertilizer, because a byproduct of this sewage is fertilizer for farms. They also they have got an anaerobic digester, which we've spoke about, which produces gas, which then produces electricity or energy, and the gas would be stored in those domes there. So must be over this direction. I'll just change my position so I can keep the line of sight. There we go. So 
So there is a crane on site still. And it seems to be working on top of one of these domes they're normally what stores gas that sort of shape especially how it's lidded i wouldn't have thought that would be full of water but we have got a couple of chimneys here and the pipes linking up to to that quite new structure there But then it's all also linked to these. So maybe this is the new area and they're all working together. But we are just guessing again, aren't we? One day, well, we had it slightly at British Sugar where the guy was telling us what the drone could see, but one day we'll get an expert telling us all about it. But all I can do from this point is show you what I can see. Oh, that right vehicle that's just come in. Oh, that's disgusting. That stinks really bad. So yeah, a lot of raw sewage is arriving here on vehicles to be treated. Oh, that is really bad. Let's get right over to the edge of the site. See what's in this last corner. Are these empty as well? Sure whether they're empty or whether it's just a uh, hard sludge can't quite tell from this small screen maybe they're empty and when they're full they should look like that looks like stagnant water doesn't it so lots and lots of uh, treatments going on here with our sewage the way i think it works is it arrives here all dirty it goes through the, the new thermal hydrolysis, which heats it, applies pressure, which then allows the anaerobic digestion where all the bugs will keep eating away all the nasties in the sewage until it's clean enough to get pumped back out to a, a further uh, treatment works down the chain. And all the, uh, the byproduct goes to farmers fields and the gas produce gets used for energy to um, power the place and they also sell it back to the national grid but that's just my overview summary of basically what they do here and I am open for somebody else to educate me further so let's have a little closer look at this one quite close to us so I can see the drone nice and easy here. Let's see why the water looks so different on this one. Let's get down to 40 meters. There we go, 40 meters. We can see some movement now. So you can see the water all bubbling away. You don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> I wonder exactly what it's doing. And then when it's ready, it will feed into this. It just skims off the top and then goes down here and into these maybe.
So shall we see what happens to a vehicle when it comes in? See what the procedure is for the vehicles arriving with the disgusting waste. So it looks like the vehicle is going to position itself so that it can unload into that. Which does look like the new thermal hydrolysis area. With its new tarmac and all new infrastructure. All this stuff look, looks very modern indeed. So I have just had a, a low battery warning, which is typical. Perfect timing, eh? So it will reverse up to this, that lid will open and it will tip and take it down into where it's supposed to go. But I'll just hang on for is he going to reverse? No, I've got to bring it back, guys. Low battery. You don't mess about with low battery warnings on the drones. So we get the gist of it, don't we? Seven Trent, Minworth sewage treatment works. 60 million pounds spent on a, a nice bit of kit that heats it, applies pressure to it so that it can break down later on down the chain much quicker and creates 30% more of that gas which can be used to generate energy. It will take a long while to get the 60 million back but once they have it's well worth it and you know they've got the money to invest as well so ideal situation for a big company like this. Right let's get David back and wrap this one up. And there we go, critical low battery, we just made it. David is down just in time, critical low battery, wow. Battery. So that was Minworth Sewage Treatment Works. Still got all these water bowsers coming in and out. And yeah, so what do you think to that then? Security met us just there upon arrival, spoke to us, told us there's uh, an opportunity of a tour, but you have to pre-book it. Uh, we mentioned the drone and she just wanted to check that was okay. Um, she st says, even though you're filming from the outside, it still might not be allowed. Mm, not too sure on that, but she didn't come back out. She sent the guy out and yeah, at first he was like, what are you doing then? Or what's your problem? Or something like that, a bit abrupt. But we won him over, didn't we? And then we got to see the, uh, the new thermal hydrolysis plant. We just ran out of time to see that lorry tip into that, that flap thing. That would have been nice. But looks like we've got somebody lost here. Shall we see what's, uh, what's wrong? <laughs> you going in? You going in? You going inside for a tour? Oh, then the tours are not on today. Oh, you're delivering food. Go on then, go to the gatehouse over there. You're delivering food. Got some uh, food for somebody on site. Is it, you, you ordered some food? Yeah, 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 that's the best thing, isn't it? Do you know the thermal hydrolysis plant? Is it right at the back in that corner? I honestly don't know because I'm not based here, sorry. Oh, okay. Are you based here? <laughs> Are you sworn to secrecy? <laughs> no problem. So there you go, everyone seems pleasant enough here, don't they? So, uh, whilst we let security deal with the fast food delivery driver <laughs> she's ordered it for herself look enjoy your mcdonald's <laughs> so we'll let her eat her food in peace and we'll leave this one here so from Win minworth sewage treatment works here in sutton coldfield if you have enjoyed that video give it a thumbs up for me and i'll see you on the next one guys bye bye for now Barrier closed nice and quick.